All right, what's up, guys? Um, I'm going to attempt to do a rattle cam paint job on this Honda. Um, you can already tell just from this shot that the hood, the roof, the rear deck lid, and the front two fenders all have uh, major clear coat damage. It's also got um, a factory recall on the paint. Uh, on the hood and the front two fenders especially, um, the actual base coat is um, cracked on it pretty, pretty severely. Um, so that's going to have to be taken down to the metal. Um, I'm not any kind of professional painter, uh, and I'm going to do this in my backyard. Uh, the temperature is about probably going to be between 75 and 85, and it's going to be about 50% humidity out here. Um, so it could be very tough. As you can see, there's a lot of trees back here, um, and some of the stuff is already shedding off the trees. So and we're gonna have insects, everything else to deal with. But it, I got multiple estimates on fixing this. Um, they went from the ludicrous um, $9,000. Uh, the lowest one that I had was $1,800. Um, and I believe that I'm gonna have about somewhere between uh, $300 and $400 in material in this. And we're just going to see how it comes out. We're, we're, there's really not a big loss here. Um, so I'm going to get into this. I'm going to show you all the process that I go through to do it. Um, I'll go through all the materials that I bought for this. Um, I, I mean, I don't even have a sander. So I had to buy a sander uh, and I bought the cheapest one that I could find. <laughs> so like I said, we'll see how this goes. All right, here we can see this is the hood. Um, and you can start to see the front two fenders. Um, I had to try out my sander right here um, just to see if it worked. Um, and you can see this car is really messed up. Like, I mean, it's really bad. I'll get down and get you a close-up of the, of this hood so that you can see just how really, like really bad it is. And you can see that it's not just the clear cut, it's, it's all the way to the base. Um, you can see where the base coat's actually cracked up. Um, like I said, it's, it's it's really bad. You can see the roof, how bad it is. Um, and then here we're coming to the rear deck lid. This rear part's not as bad um, as the rest of the car, but it's still, it's pretty bad. bad. This is the kind of patina that you don't want. <laughs> I try to tell my wife that it's just patina, you know what I mean, but this is not, this is not the patina that you want. Alright, this is the products that we're going to use. Um, the first one is in the middle. It's a 2K epoxy primer uh, in black. Uh, and then we're going to use the one on the left, which is a base coat. Uh, and then we'll use the clear that's on the right. This is the really cheap sander that I got. Um, this thing was like 50 bucks. 40 something dollars I believe. Um, it doesn't even have, doesn't even, it's got this, this is the name of it right there. Nobody's ever heard of that. Um, pretty cheap, 
um, but I did try it out it does work and that's all I really needed to do I don't need it I don't need it to last uh, I can throw it away after this job um, I'll show you some of the sandpaper I use um, this actually has a they call it a hook and loop pad um, I've got this came with a five inch and a six inch I'll be using the six inch one the most because I got mostly six inch disc on this hood right here I don't think I'm gonna use some 80 grit sandpaper it's just it's so bad up here and we really need to take this all the way kind of down to them down to the metal Here's what the car looks like after doing about three hours of sanding. Um, it really probably needed about three times that much. But due to the fact that I'm painting this thing outside and just the sheer amount of stuff that's in the air and um, I can tell that this is not going to turn out that good. So there's no sense in just doing an outrageous amount of prep when it's, it's, you're really already kind of set up to fail. But we'll see anyway how it goes. Like I said, it took me about three hours of sanding probably on this to get it like this and I'd say um, another hour or so to just get it kind of taped off this is what the car looks like now after the base coat was put on um, this has been a real fight out here. I hadn't been able to film much. It's been so hot that all of the all of the um, tape just keeps peeling up, and so it's it's the that's been the biggest problem has been that the tape won't stay stuck to the car. Also, another problem that I had was when I put, when I was shooting the primer on, the primer did not want to stay. It was, it was almost drying before it even hit the car. So there you can kind of see what it did. So this is after a base coat and then I wet sanded a little bit with 400 grit. Um, it is very difficult to paint out here I'll tell you. Um, you can see here's a bug right here. Let's see if we can see him. See this guy. I just got through spraying the clear. It finally warmed up a little bit. Um, 
it does not look that bad except for the bugs that's in it. Um, I got some pretty good orange peel. I think I can cut out if I want to. Um, like I said, this, and I got a couple runs in it. I just didn't even bother with it. It's a daily driver, so I didn't run the clear. I ran the the base and there's a couple stretches in it and stuff like that but it does not look bad at all let's see if i can get and see if you can see i'm not sure what y'all can see here this is the side where the sun is maybe you can see a little bit better And we'll get some better shots of it. Um, it's very difficult to see out here what it looks like yet. And I'll probably cut it too because I had some weird things happen like uh, I had a drip. I had more problems with the cans than anything to be honest with you. So as you can see, this is the hood, front fender. Um, and I'm gonna get some close-up stuff and then let's see if you can see the, the roof on the car. Um, and then we'll go back there to the rear deck lid also. But it, it it came out pretty good. Um, I did not wet sand this clear at all. Um, I thought if I did, it would it was gonna be too nice looking compared to the rest of the car. I said it came out relatively well in my opinion. I was pretty pretty happy with it compared to what it was. This is the hood again. Like I said it, it it really came out good, in my opinion, for just for doing it in the yard, I mean. All right, again, for the quick recap. First day, sanded, um, completely down, uh, washed it off, tacked it off, and taped off the car. Uh, that took about probably six hours uh, at the next day, I started putting um, primer, um, and then I went, put the primer on, sanded the primer um, with 400, then went with uh, base coat, put that on, sanded that, put another coat of base coat on, sanded that with 400. Um, and that's all I could do. I had about, I did that in about 12 hours. Um, and like I said, I had a lot of problems um, with uh, just the heat of the day, moving the car around. I had to move the car around after it's all completely taped off. And that was, that was an issue. Um, and then on the third day, the third day um, I just uh, did the clear. Um, and that was it, man. Uh, it came out, like I said, I think it came out really good. Um, there's some blemishes in it. I could have fixed those, I'll be honest with you. I just don't have time. Um, I work too much and I just don't have time to, uh, to fix everything. So, but it could have came out even better. Um, but I was real happy with the car. Um, so this is definitely something you can do, man, in your, in your backyard. Uh, just don't be scared, take your time. Um, look up the stuff on all, doing all the body work. Um, I didn't go through everything in this video. 
um, because like I said, it's not a body work video. I'm just simply, this is a rattle cam paint job in your backyard and what you can do. All right, bro, thank you.